All right, so what we have right here is the Dan Defense Delta 5 Pro, and what we have right here is the brand new folding stock adapter. Let's get into it. Hey folks, Gary here with Paramount, and we have a special guest in the shop today. We got our good buddy, Chris. If you haven't seen the podcast, he's always on the podcast, but he also helps us out a lot in the shop, just uh, mounting optics, doing some gunsmithing work with us. So I thought it'd be fun to have him on the on the show today. What do you think? I appreciate it. Hey man, we're glad you're here. <laughs> I'm glad you got to see me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, folks. So I've already done a review on the Daniel Defense Delta 5 Pro. I have one personally. It's an excellent rifle. If you're going to buy a production rifle, I really can't recommend that enough. For about the same price, I do think the Masterpiece Arms PMR Pro 2s are better rifles overall, but this is still an excellent, excellent rifle. One of the biggest complaints I had in the past was the fact that they didn't, from the beginning, they were talking about offering a folding stock. Um, and they just now, now we are like two, three years later, I yeah. think, and they're just now offering this uh, this folding stock adapter. So uh, this is a client's gun, a good friend of mine's gun, actually, and I'm looking forward to putting this on there, checking that out. What we'll do is we'll kind of show how to install this. With that being said, folks, I can't show the installation on YouTube. So I'm going to put that over on Rumble. Even something stupid like this or even adding a padded uh, cheek rest back here, they consider that, you know, altering a firearm and they will take the video down. So if you're watching this on YouTube, number one, I say go watch it on Rumble to see the full installation process. But regardless, what we're going to do is install this. We're just going to do a really quick initial review of how well that works and just, you know, again, kind of get an idea of how this all fits together because I have no idea yet. First time I've doing, I'm doing this, so, you know, that's what we're going to do today. Um, first of all, let's talk about why a folding stock is a good idea. Chris? It fits in smaller places. It fits in smaller places, absolutely. <laughs> so it does. It makes, it makes transporting this, if you have a smaller case, you don't always, you know, can carry a huge case around. So um, being able to fold this up, reduce, you know, 10, 12 inches off the rifle itself makes a lot of sense. Honestly, for me, the biggest improvement and or advantage of having a folding stock is just strictly cleaning. Mm -hmm. Folks, being able to get this stock out of the way, that way you can keep a shorter cleaning rod uh, and it just makes things so much easier. A lot of times when you don't have a folding stock, you're gonna to have to remove your cheek riser. You probably have that already set, or at least you should be. And having to take that out, replace it, and get it back to the right height every time is a real pain in the butt. So basically a folding stock or an adapter that allows your stock to fold is basically more of a convenience than anything else. Uh, but it does make a big difference as far as time saving when you're cleaning your rifle. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is Chris and I are gonna go ahead and remove this fixed stock. And if you're watching the YouTube version of this, don't, right? Go watch the, the Rumble version of this. Still like, subscribe, hit a comment down below, all that good stuff so that we can promote this channel. Folks, let's get real. At the end of the day, YouTube is not a friend of the Second Amendment. They're not a friend of the First Amendment. And if you support and defend the Second Amendment, I highly suggest you stop watching YouTube. We're going to stay on this platform so that we can get that message out. And we have the most subscribers. Um, you know, Rumble is not... It's still new, right? So there's some bugs in it. We don't have as many subscribers over there. But... We want you to go over there and get away from supporting platforms that are not a friend of the Second Amendment. And, and again, they're not even a friend of the First Amendment. It's a real shame. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and pull this stock off and we're going to replace it with this. Detailed version of that is over on Rumble. All right, so this is what it looks like installed. And to basically close it, all we're going to do is lift up. It hinges open and locks up really tight. So this is, this is actually pretty impressive because this is my concern. This is always my concern with when you're dealing with a you know folding stock is if it's gonna lock up tight. Folks, that is, there is a, just a tiny bit of wiggle. Actually, that's not even on the hinge. The hinge is absolutely super tight. We got a little bit of wiggle back here, probably because these aren't completely tightened down. Absolutely no, I mean, there's, there's no movement on there. I like, well, I like the locking mechanism over here. You can see when you lift up and it drops in, it's actually tapered. So once it once it closes down, it's actually pinching on itself, and it's just going to make itself tighter when it clicks in. So I mean, that's that's a not really nice design. So let's. We were originally at forty six and three quarters. Yes, sir. Let's see where we're at now. So yeah, we are now. It's almost exactly it's an inch. an inch shorter. So this one's at forty five and three quarters now. You know, compared to the non folding stock 
stock spacer, the stock stock spacer, the factory, the space. OEM the spacer, factory spacer. All right. <laughs> This, the overall length on this is exactly one inch shorter. So with the folding stock adapter being a full inch shorter, that is going to affect everything, right? So you may actually need to reposition where your optic is on the base. Uh, you're definitely gonna have to reposition and readjust your length of pull. And if you haven't seen my video on how to set up your gun correctly so that you can shoot a lot better, go check that video out. I think it'll help you more than buying new gear and it's free. Go check that out. Make sure that gun is fitting you and you're not doing a bunch of weird things. And again, if the gun fits you, it's going to perform better. You're going to be much more comfortable and you're going to shoot better. And that's what it's all about. So go check out that video up there. But overall, man, that was a pretty easy install, don't you think? Yeah. And it's going to be a lot like you talked about for cleaning. You're not going to be on a bad angle on your guide yep. rods. You're all of that. I mean, it'll just so just much easier. Life easier. And to put it in the folded position, folks, all you're going to do is lift up, pull this back. And there it's, it's actually, and that actually locks in yeah, place too. I want you guys to check that out, but that, that actually locks in place because I've actually seen some of these folding stocks, folks, that don't lock in place. If you get your hand here, now you're moving the gun. Next thing you know, you're getting pinched. That sucks, uh, but it does lock in place. I really like it. It actually is much better than I thought it was going to be. They did it right. It's engineered really well. And I will tell you, at least in this one that we have, there is absolutely zero play in the stock. So overall, pretty cool. Fits in your backpack. Now it fits in your backpack. <laughs> I actually, I actually appendix carry that. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll, 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 we'll see that on the next video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So overall, Chris, what'd you think? It was a Daniel Defense product. I didn't have any doubts, but it was a first timer on this one, so I, it worked perfectly. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, there's nothing bad to say about it. Quick, easy install. I mean, mm -hmm. we, we were kind of moving around to show the, you know, the yeah. camera, the, you know, make sure that we had it in view of the camera. But I mean, that would have taken us what three minutes, four yeah, minutes, if, if you had your five thirty seconds out and your and your fix it sticks. That's right. If you don't have fix it sticks, fix yourself. Yeah, all right. Get, get you one. Go to Paramount there. Tactical, get you a fix it sticks. It will change your life, especially if you do a lot of your own gun maintenance, your own scope mounting. Uh, you know, they're not exactly cheap, but folks, the convenience of having everything that you're ever gonna need oh. right there. I mean, they, they pay for themselves many times over. Uh, what else, Chris? Any other comments, gripes, or complaints? No, I like this gun. Yeah, no, I, overall, the gun's great. I'm glad they finally got this, um, you know, this adapter out. That's something that a lot of people, including myself, have been waiting on. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get this set up. We're going to get a custom case built for that. And, you know, while Guns and Gear is great, we're really about a strain. If you're serious about learning long range and you want to do it the right way, Go check out the upcoming XP Long Range Academy courses that we have on our website. This is, as a matter of fact, there's a video on them right there. We've teamed up with Ray Helms from X-Ring, and between us, we're putting together what I promise you will be the absolute best long range training available anywhere. He has over 20 years of long range shooting and training. I do too. We're coming together. We're bringing you the best training available. If you want to do it right, if you don't want to waste time buying the wrong gear, if you want to be an educated buyer, if you want to know the ballistics, if you want, I'm telling you right now, folks. If you invest the money in those courses, it will save you so much time, money, energy, and aggravation in the long run. I promise you, they'll pay for themselves many times over, and you'll have a great time with us as well. Make sure you check out all our other courses, everything from defensive handgun, tactical carbine, CQB courses, night courses, driving courses, medical courses. Come train with us. You'll be glad you did it. Also, make sure you go check out our other social media sites and follow us on there. We do a lot of cool things on there. And every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, we do our live Dangerous Liberty podcast. Talk about guns, gear, training, politics. It's a lot of fun. Come join us on that. And for all your gear needs, make sure you go to Paramount Tactical. But until next time, stay armed. Stay ready. We'll talk to you soon.